Included in the box are the following. A 3.5mm audio jack. A wireless USB transmitter. A USB charging cable. Microphone. Of course, our warranty guide. And our Virtuoso RGB wireless manual. Let's have a look with the headset. So we have a very solid frame. Aluminum yung gilid niya guys, as you can see. And uh, it has a plastic headband as well. Mukha naman siyang matibay actually. Okay naman siya. Let's try. Okay naman siya. Matibay naman siya. Yes. Okay. Matibay siya. Yep. Glossy din yung ano niya. Gilid. Isha. Yeah. Yan. Ang ganda. Panalang panala siya guys. And it doesn't look like a gaming headset. No? Ito, elegant yung design niya. Actually, one of the reasons why I purchased this, eh, nagpa-plan ako mag-work from home. So, makes it cool. Dahil gamer din naman ako at the same time. Tapos gusto ko na mag-work from home. Eh, di mag-invest tayo sa headset na pwede rin pang games, pwede rin pang work from home. So, I ended up with Corsair Wireless. So, this is not the uh, SE version. Meron pang mas expensive version dito. Pero for me, sulit na sulit na to. So, ito yung mga buttons niya guys. So, ito yung sa volume niya. Okay. We have the wireless switch here. If you want to turn it on, yun na lang. And so, you'll, you'll see. Yan, nailaw na siya. Pwede mo rin palitan yung kulay niya guys. Meron siyang software na pwede natin tuwagin. <laughs> the IQ yung tawag dun sa software. So, pwede mo siyang palitan ng kulay dun. So, all in all, okay yung build quality niya guys. Malibay naman siya. Hmm. Hindi siya yung ano. Hindi siya yung bibigay ka agad. Feeling ko magtatagal to ng taon. Siyempre, ingatan mo pa rin. Hmm. Tsaka maganda siya. Promise. Hindi kayo magsisisi. Mamaya, tingnan natin yung microphone na niya. Testing natin. So, yun. Hi guys, gamit ko na yung wireless for Scare Virtuoso. Ayan. Kita nyo yung green light indicator. It means that your mic is already on. And if you want to disable it, just press the button here. Mic off. Mic on. You will also hear the voice prompt, but you can disable it dun sa software. Yung, um, what's that? The IQ software. Dun mo pwedeng i-disable yung RGB lights if you don't feel like seeing it or kung sa tingin mo makaka-distract lang yun sa kausap mo online. Let's say you're in a formal setup, you're in a conference call, or nagwo-work ka online, pwede mo siyang disable. So, ano ba? Um, okay siya guys. Uh, as you can see, I'm connected wirelessly. Pero if I use my audio cable, the 3.5mm braided audio cable, magiging triple yung lakas ng sound ng headset which is really awesome yung quality ng sound niya eh okay na okay din maganda yung mic niya hindi naman perfect pero it's decent talaga compared to other game headsets uh, on the same uh, price range hindi siya perfect pero kayo mag-judge anong masasabi niyo anong tunog niya guys anong anong sound quality niya compared sa ibang gaming headsets. Uh, bago ko kasi binili ito, nag-review ako online 
uh, nagbasa-basa ako ng mga reviews sa mga articles at nanood din ako sa YouTube ng mga reviews ng mga gaming headsets. So, I ended up with this one. Um, that's why I'm sharing it to you guys. So, if you are about to purchase your very first gaming headset, I definitely recommend this one. Um, for the following reasons. First, uh, build quality. Hindi siya mukhang, alam yun, yung pure gaming headset, di ba? Tulad nung sabi ko nga dun sa, uh, first bit, I mean, dun sa introduction ko kanina, ano lang siya, mukha siyang pang casual na ano lang. Pang casual na datingan lang, pero astig yung tunog niya, so solid. Um, ano pa ba? Uh, wireless siya, at maganda yung ano niya, connection niya at yung tunog niya kahit naka-wireless ka. Pangatlo, magagamit mo siya hindi lang pang games, hindi lang pang streaming, pati sa work. So, if you're like me at gusto nating I mean, kumita online, magturo ng mga sudyante online, at kailangan mo ng microphone at headset na maayos at mapagkakatiwalaan, eh, this one is really worth it. Uh, marami ding gaming headsets available in the market um, pero lahat yan sa online kung pinagbas yan eh, nag-review ako online ito talaga yung ano para sa akin ah, at least for me at ngayong narana- gamit ko na siya talagang marirecommend ko sa inyo for streamers for gamers for everyone okay siya siguro kung may mga uh, downside siya. Um, yung, kung siguro kung matagal mo na siyang ginagamit, like 4 hours, 5 hours ka nang nakababat sa computer, tapos gamit mo yung headset, sobrang tagal, may konting discomfort. Pero it's not really to the point na sobrang sakit-sakit na ng tenga mo. Hindi naman. Unti-unting nang build up yun, na medyo nagkakaroon ng pressure yun sa, especially dun sa upper part ng tenga mo. Pero hindi naman siya sobrang sakit talaga. Tolerable naman siya. Tolerable. Parang lahat naman yata ng headset pag matagal mo ng gamit. I don't know how with those headsets na super expensive. Kung talagang kahit matagal mo ng gamit, uh, alam mo yun, okay pa rin siya sa tenga. Pero this one, ayun lang yung downside niya. Pero all, overall quality, perfect para sa akin. So, ang great na bibigay natin dito. Eh, pasado. Ayan. Um, guys, if you like the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. 